All praises, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Kredash, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. Brothers, Revelation tells us that the third woe cometh quickly, particularly Revelations, I'll get the scripture here, 11 and 14. It's, and it reads, the second woe is past, meaning the second world war. And behold, I mean, look and see, the third woe cometh quickly, meaning World War Three is coming. We already know the war that's been going on with Russia and Ukraine for months now, right? But listen to what these Alaskan politicians have to say. We all remember Sarah Palin from, from years ago, from back in the day. But just listen to what her and her peer has to say. Let's get right into it. Now, um, Lincoln had said, President Lincoln, he had said, no foreign power will ever crush America. They have no chance against us, especially against our military. However, we should be cognizant of this. We would be crushed from within if the division gets any more rancorous, if it gets any worse than it is, we need to protect our foundation. Thank you. Representative Peltola, you have one minute. Thank you. I do believe that partisanship is the number one threat to our country, both in terms of foreign policy and domestic policy. We've got formidable enemies now. We've got Russian and Chinese ships in formation, practicing outside of Alaska and in our waters. We um, the list goes on and on in terms of new foreign aggression. I really feel like I'm um, back in the Cold War again and worse. Did you hear what she said? She said Russian and Chinese ship practicing in and around our, war our waters. And she said the list goes on and on, right? You got to remember something. Let me go from there. Pardon me, brothers. Let me go from there. Let me come here, right? You gotta remember what Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 says and it reads for then shall be great tribulation such as was not seen since the beginning of the world to this time no nor ever will be now she just talked about China preparing for war let's look at what China is doing look, look at this report here brothers check this shit out this Chinese drone is dropping a machine gun equipped robot dog on the rooftop of a building somewhere in the country, causing goosebumps among sci-fi fans. The one minute footage was first shared on China's Twitter-like Weibo on October 4th, before swiftly going viral. Much like a dystopian war film, the robo dog unfolds and starts traversing its new environment with a drum magazine machine gun mounted on its back. The drive offers speculation that it could be a Chinese QBB-97 light machine gun, or LMG, that is classified as Type 95 LMG in the US. The video's original uploader is a verified account that seems to be directly linked with the Chinese Kestrel Defense Company. However, whether the video was made as part of a Chinese military practice, or to show how the drone robodog pairing will work is unclear. The account boasts that armed robodogs can be placed directly on a rooftop to capture and command the high ground and reduce weaponry. It can also be slipped into any weak spot behind the adversary to launch a surprise attack. The technology will allow ground forces to conduct a three-dimensional pincer attack on opponents in the building. The drive suggests that the drone robodog combination was designed to be used in assault operations, particularly in urban settings. If the weapon attached is China's QBB-97 drum magazine machine gun, it can deliver continuous automatic bursts of fire and shoot up to 650 rounds per minute. Still, it is unclear how precisely the Robodog could operate such an attack. The four-legged robot was knocked backward after firing a Russian 9x19mm PP-1901 Vityaz submachine gun in this video. At least, it still struck the targets while being at close range. Brothers, now do you understand that, that when, the, when the Lord says, if he had not cut the time short, no one would survive? This is why we have to pray for the spirit of endurance, for perseverance. Like Matthew 24 and 13 tells us, but he that shall endure to the end shall be saved. And I pray, brothers, that you brothers are enduring to the end, just as well as I'm praying that I'm built up, that I endure to the end. Shalom.